Hello, welcome to a new Synth Anatomy video. Here's the Icon Multimedia Uno Synth and here's my final review. Since there were many other projects, the final review of the Uno Synth by Icon Multimedia has shown something, but now it's time. In this video I don't go into details as in the first look video, so the video is in the video description, but I would like to tell you briefly what my final opinion on the UNO synthesizer is. The features are, it's portable, battery powered and it comes with two VCOs, saw triangle pulse with continuously variable wave shapes, a noise generator, dipole multimode OTR based filter with low pass, high pass and band pass, LFO with 7 different waveforms that can be used to modulate the pitch, filter and amp, two envelopes, one for the filter and one for the amp, arpeggiato as well as a 16 step sequencer with up to 20 automatic parameters, a sync delay and 5 performance effects and 100 onboard presets. Since my first look video and sound demo video in summer, the arcade developers released updates for the Uno synth that includes new features. One of my initial critics was that you don't have complete access to the envelopes, but only in the PC, Mac or iOS editor. This has been changed in the latest firmware update. If you press longer on the envelope button, you have full access to the AMP ADSR. Same for the filter. Here you press long on the filter button and then you have also here full access. A nice update and improves the playability of the sound engine in my opinion. Besides this, the USB supports now MIDI out and there is also a new visual indicator for modified but unsaved presets. So in my opinion, important and good new features for the Uno synth. Before I say my final conclusion to the Uno synth, here are some short sound demos.
Due to the recent updates, I can multimedia respond well to the criticism and this event also improves my opinion of the UNO synth. So seeing the UNO synth is a nice mono analog synthesizer that is not only practical but sounds also good. Sounds good is very subjective here. Many musicians like the character of the UNO synth, other not. So it polarized in the communities, but I think this is great so there are always nice discussions. Personally I like the sound. It's snappy and does not remind me directly on a very classic synth from the past. It has his own sound character that you have to work with to discover his facet. The operation was improved as already mentioned and I like it much better now. Unfortunately features like sync or FM are missing here completely, 
what would give more sound design options. The knobs have of course no noble quality for this price, but doesn't feel cheap and play well. The touch keyboard takes a lot of getting used to and does not fill up at the beginning, but it's fun to play with it, but it would never replace my keyboard synths for only touch synths. For portable instruments like the Uno synth it's fine and it's for me better than the touch plate on the Quark Volkers. The built-in 16 step sequencer makes fun and you can do crazy modulation with it. It's a shame that it has only 16 steps, 32 or 64 steps would be better here. Also I'm still missing the direct access to the post modulation on the interface. A big minus point goes to the audio output. I can multimedia use here a 3.5mm output to which you cannot properly connect headphones. To use this I have to connect the plug only halfway in which is in my opinion not good. If you work with a 3.5 mono cable, such as a Eurac cable, everything works without problem. So it gets harder if you want to use headphones. It's maybe that my unit is a pre-production unit and possible that this is improved with the new releases. The Uno synth has also an audio input, so you can connect other instruments. Unfortunately, the signal cannot pass through the analog filter, which is a missing feature in my opinion. This would be a cool sound design feature to refine sounds using the analog filter. So in summary, the Uno synth is a portable battery powered good sounding monophonic synthesizer that makes fun whether in the studio, in the living room or on the go. Also not everything is perfect here and some features are missing, you can design a lot of sounds here. The Uno synth is Alka Multimedia's debut and it will be interesting to see what they will be the next hardware synth, maybe the Duo synth. In the meantime, let me know in the comments below what do you think about the Uno synth. It would be cool to discuss with you. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a positive thumb and a subscription for more future videos. Big thanks for watching and I hope to see you very soon in one of my next videos. Bye!